folks, let's jump in here tonight. We got so much to talk about, it's unbelievable. We really do. I just speaking to Ken McCoy off air there a little bit and sharing some things with him and uh, told him to make yourself at home tonight. Just family out here listening tonight. And I'm sure that this man has to be getting a little nervous. Uh, I'm sure that he knows by now that his program interview went viral on the, on the, net, of the net of the weekend. I'm amazed at how far it's went. About every online news magazine that I know of has got it. Uh, uh, radio shows, hosts calling me, be on their radio shows. Uh, uh, other people that are, were, say, uh, in the know are calling and asking questions. And uh, I don't know. It's just, But this has been a bombshell as far as actually opening people's eyes to the truth. And Lieutenant McCoy from North Carolina uh, is, a, is a, off, an officer in, uh, in North, North Carolina. You're going to be sharing a lot of things with tonight, folks. And we'll be taking phone calls, too, if at all possible. But I must ask you, please, limit your questions or comments just to one, or one, one question, one comment, and do it quickly. At the bottom of the hour, take phone calls at 877 877- uh, I'm sorry, 855-242-8824. And first-time callers, you will go to the front of the line. If you're a police officer or military, uh, retired or whatever, you will go to the front line also. 855-242-8824. Lieutenant, thank you for having the courage and the Christian love in your heart to join us in the night. Sure, I appreciate that. Well, I, we appreciate you, brother. I cannot begin to tell you how, how proud I am that, that to know you uh, via radio and what you're trying to do and, and the truth you're telling to the people. Thank you so much for having the courage to do this. I know you care for the people. You wouldn't do this. You're putting your whole, not only your career on the line, you're putting your life on the line, aren't you? Yes, sir, I certainly am. And uh, uh, if I could, I'd just like to say I've uh, done a lot of praying, and uh, i got two special Christian friends that I've kind of, talked with and we figured it was time for for the truth uh, to be released well i i just and I, we got a lot of things covering that and I, but i don't want to rush through any of them if i can help it. and folks i promise to get your phone calls if we can but again uh lieutenant would you mind telling the people as briefly as you possibly can what you do know firsthand that's coming down probably in the next two or three months this country Yes, sir. Uh, like I told you in, in the other program, uh, uh, the local law enforcement uh, is training uh, with the military with drones and choppers. And uh, the training locally here began basically in May of 2012. Now, it's not something new, but it's something that they've really uh, stepped up with. Okay, now what kind of training and what are the, what are the uh, uh, plans you think for the future? Just lay it all out, just like you've been like you've been told it. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it's basically yeah. I'll lay it out there for you. Uh, it's not really a, a secret to a lot of law enforcement officers here that's uh, on the side of God and country. You know, we know the feeling, and uh, we all feel it, and. Uh, they plan on a total all-out gun confiscation, uh, and 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 it's just simple. I mean, it's just that way. Uh, basically, how they've got the law enforcement agencies tied in was with all these uh, federal government funding programs. It didn't make any difference what an agency wanted. For sp- specifically the last couple of years, they've just poured and poured and poured millions and billions of dollars into local law enforcement agencies. Now the federal government owns them, and they have pretty well have to do what they say do if they want to continue. Oh, yeah. You shuck off the federal tip, they're going to they're gonna ask you to pay them back, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Now, uh, I lost my, lost my train of thoughts. Many questions come to mind. I can't keep up with them. As far, <laughs> as, as, far up as you know, who's behind this, as far up as you know? It goes way high. Okay. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not say exactly what I do know, but I do know it goes high in the federal government. Well, you do know that Illinois, as as we speak, has got a bill proposed that would outlaw any kind of uh, more than probably single-shot rifle or, or handgun, uh, whether it's yes. lever actions, pump actions, whatever. You know that, right? Yes, sir. I did hear that. Yes, and, sir. And they, they would not fought, uh, grandfather anything. They'd all be, all be turned in or confiscated. Do you foresee that happening cross-country? Yes, sir, I do. 
And uh, one of the main training sessions for this, and I, and I know people's hashed over this, but I know it for a fact, that uh, Hurricane Katrina was just a training session for local law enforcement agencies yes. across the country. Yes. And if you'll notice, they never utilized their own departments there. They brought in law enforcement agencies from out of state. They brought in National Guard from out of state to see how things would work. And uh, now they, they're they carrying on with that training to the local law enforcement agencies. And old, old law enforcement officers always call it the old knock and talk rule, but it's not a law. It's a rule. Uh-huh, yes. That's what their intention is, is to carry through with the knock and talk. And uh, you can either let them in by invitation or they will come in. Yeah, that in, in uh, Hurricane Katrina, they literally arrested people. And uh, there's one video went viral that a little lady had a handgun. She was holding it, and they tackled her with it. This is on, yes, this, they, And they did do gun, gun confiscation after Katrina. The mayor said, we're going to do it, and they did it. Now There won't be any tackling this time, Pastor Butch. Won't be any what now? There won't be any tackling anyone this time. This time be what then? Be total force, deadly you mean, force. You mean okay, gotcha. So there's no point in trying to reason with him, is there? No, sir. Won't, won't do a bit of good. Uh, do you foresee foreign troops on this? Uh, I haven't. I know there's a lot of them training, uh, especially in uh, the southern state military bases. But I have not. That's one thing I have not seen or heard. Well, now you said that about three fourths of the, of the uh, law enforcement that you know will not go along with this, right? Yes, sir. That's correct. Mm-hmm. So, will they stand up and fight with us, or just go home? And yes, sir. They will. They'll, they'll they be going on home side. with their families, just like I am. And they and they will stand with us on this and fight. Yes, sir. They stand on. They plan on standing on the line because it's all on the line for us. Yes, it is. Well, now. Do the gung ho joint heads, as you call them, the <laughs> I saw a T-shirt one the other day that's unbelievable. Well, I don't get into that on the air, but well, we all that, that, that said uh, <laughs> something about being a cop and you don't you don't f with cops. Yeah, I, I, I cannot believe this. There was a time I may have been fired for that, but nonetheless, I can uh, believe that. One. Well, it's it's really sad. I mean, it's really sad. These these young bald punks uh, think that just because we're getting some years in us, so we're just going to roll over and play dead. Yes, sir. You know, I, I told her one time. I'm told to, I'm told to fight and too fat to run. I'll just shoot you. You know, I I, I mean, I, I can't keep up a 19 year old to the woods anymore. I know that. But that's not the point. But these guys that know that, that, that these gung ho idiots, don't they know that they're going to be used for cannon fodder? Yes, sir. They, they they don't really realize that. They're not even thinking. Most of them can't think that far ahead. But you know, once the mission's completed for them, that's exactly what they'll be as cannon fodder. Because they will be, they won't be needed any longer, sir. Well, in, in the process of carrying this 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 commission out, this mission out, they're going to be a lot of them going to be taken out. You know that. Yes, sir. I don't expect yes, everyone in the country to just roll over and hand their guns in and say I quit. I don't see that happening. No, sir. There'll be a, there'll be a lot of them, and a lot of it'll be um, won't be true. There'll be a lot of coverage of. People standing in line to turn in their firearms because that's the right thing to do, and uh, oh, geez, it's just it's horrible. <laughs> now I'm going to ask my board off if you can, Charles, cancel the next uh, commercial intersection. If you can, please stop the next. If you you can you can do it. Okay, you can do it. I just want to ask. All right, because it's much cover night. Now, what do you see happening that will cause this huge move towards confiscation? The, it's it, it's inevitable. They want it. And they're going to do it. They've been ordered to do it, and they're going to do it. They intend on carrying through with it. Well, but did you, and, do, you, do you see a catalyst behind it? I mean, what are they going to use to cover it up? Is, is it, it, do you think it's going to be an economic collapse before they do this, or what? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. The economic uh, uh, downfall will be the beginning of it. And and uh, if I can interject this, uh, a lot of the – and don't take me wrong what I'm saying, Pastor, but – they're using folks like you and AJ to keep the fire burning hot. That's what they want. And until the last minute, you guys don't have anything to worry about. All right, break it down a little more. What do you mean? In other words, 
the government wants you guys to keep pouring gas on the fire and make it bigger and hotter. They call it fanning the flames. So See, I have you, a far bigger background than just a law enforcement officer. <laughs> well, so what you're saying is they want us out there. They won't bother us for a while. They'll, they'll take others down first. Yes, sir. You, you'll be the first ones to go down, that, okay. along with the communication systems. Okay. And, and but uh, so but they want they are they are they actually looking for a fight? Is what you want to do? Pick a fight? Yes, sir. They are, but they want us to start it this time because they realize what backfired on them before. Well, now, if there's an economic collapse, uh, and if, if that's part of the plan, are they waiting for the chaos to come from that before they start making yes, the move? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's that's what they're waiting for. Now, now you've heard that firsthand, right? Yes, sir. I have. And what kind of timeline do you see on this? It it's kind of hard to actually pick, but the, the the way the news is going right now, and I don't mean from regular TV, but <laughs> but the sources are saying is it, sometime any it could be any time from thirty to forty five days to as far as six months, it's according to how long it takes them to get everything in line. Okay, hang on to the break, please, uh, Lieutenant. Let's right, back at the break. The next half hour with your phone call. Like I said, we'll get all the calls when we can, but limit to one comment or one question, please. 855-242-8824. Folks, what we've been talking about for almost 20 years in the radio is coming about now. Are you listening now? Are you paying attention now? Are you paying attention now? Life Change Tea detoxifies. GetTheTea.com. It's only about a dollar a day. Receive more energy. GetTheTea.com. Lose weight. GetTheTea.com. It's purifying. GetTheTea.com. It works immediately. GetTheTea.com. It's too easy. GetTheTea.com. We challenge you. Get the tea.com. What's the phone number? 928 308 0408. What did you say? 928 308 0408. I didn't get that. 928 308 0408. Will it work? Yes. Get the tea.com. Unmatched. Get the tea.com. This gets in your head. Get the tea.com. That's the idea. Pastor Butch has tried and fully endorses the tea. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Fight back this cold and flu season with the world's best garlic extract, Ali C. Why Ali C? Because it helps your body fight viruses, bacteria, and fungi. Ali C has been scientifically proven in double blind studies using low doses to greatly reduce the number, severity, and duration of common colds. Ali C contains 300 milligrams of stabilized allicin, the active ingredient in crushed garlic. Studies show Ali C is effective against MRSA, bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. One tablet of Ali C has the equivalent of 40 cloves of garlic. Ali C supports your body's resistance to all types of conditions and can help lower high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So boost your body's resistance to infection with nature's best garlic extract, Ali C. For more information and to order Ali C, call 877-888-7126 or go to garlichealthproducts.com. That's 1-877-888-7126 or go to garlichealthproducts.com for your Ali C today. (coughs) Are you still a traditional smoker? Now experience a new lifestyle and try vaping with e-cigarettes by LeSig. 
Imagine no ashes, stains, nasty smell, or coughing and hacking. With Lasig e-cigarettes, revolutionary microelectronic technology, rechargeable battery, and unique replaceable cartridge, you'll get all the benefits and satisfaction of smoking without the hazards. Choose your taste from a wide variety of our new American-made vaporated e-liquids at Lasig.com. And Lasig smokes the competition by serving thousands of worldwide customers with real people customer service, fast, free, same-day shipping, and a 30 day warranty and satisfaction guarantee so are you ready for a new vaping lifestyle then call 870-518-4307 that's 870-518-4307 or visit lesig.com spelled l-e-c-i-g.com lesig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker they preach liberty to a people who love their liberty Hey folks, we are back. You know, the question will be to you now: How much have you? Lo- how much do you love the liberty you have left? And folks, we have very little left. If our founding fathers could see what we've allowed to happen in this nation, they'd probably hang all of us and start over again. They start with the preachers, and I'm one of them. They would start because the pulpits were the were the flame that set this nation on fire for for a revolution in the 1700s. The pulpits today are nothing but a bunch of panty wasted pimps out there tonight in, in this in this country. But anyway. Back to our guest. By the way, I just found out, uh, Lieutenant, that on one one video alone, I think I know, but at least a dozen different n- online papers and clips going up. And on one on one alone, we had twenty two thousand hits just today alone. So you're getting the words getting out there, okay? And just on one of them, see, I'm, you I'm can glad figure. the words getting out, but I don't want the notoriety for it. I'm just oh, doing understand. what the Lord wants me to That's do. That's it. Sir. That's it. But don't you know that we're, you're reaching some people? Uh, so I would say, with all of them combined, according to me, it hits easily today. So we are reaching the people. But anyway, as your elected officials, uh, not just law enforcement, but, but your, your state senators, local representatives, whatever, are they informed about this? Uh, some of them are, yes, sir. I've been in touch with one uh, local uh, representative that, that really he he's in line. He knows he knows what's going on. What are their plans to try to stop it, if any? <laughs> They're asking – what can I do alone? And and they're scared uh, to the point of not knowing who to try to approach about it. Well, the, the sheriffs in your state, the sheriff's departments in your state that you know, uh, do you know any of those are going to stand with us in this and, 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 and maybe deputize people in the county to fight with us? We have about 100 counties in Rowan County, to be exact, uh, in, in, in the state. And... There's probably 45% that's good, I say honest, God-fearing sheriffs that's that's not going to stand. They're not going to stand with the government. They're going to stand with the people. But do all your gung-ho friends realize this? No, sir, they don't. They don't don't know it or don't want to know it? They don't want to know it. They don't want to realize it. They don't want to think about it, and they just want to let things go. Don't worry. Be happy. You know, everything's going to be fine. Well, now, there's no way that one-fourth of, of the law enforcement can enforce all this on three-fourths of other law enforcement. Uh, do they really think they can pull this off? Uh, well, b- basically what, what their plans are, and, and, and it's more than just the weapon situation, uh, the reason for the uh, local law enforcement recruit recruiting is uh, so they'll have someone working with them that can work with anyone, someone that knows the area, knows the people, the local mindsets and the moods, possible pockets or areas of resistance, and that includes farms, uh, dairy farms, uh, cattle farms, anything that could give sustenance or support to the resistance. So they're going to do what with them? Yes, sir. They, they'll, they, they're going to close them down to make sure that they can't support uh, with sustenance or anything else or they're, hide anyone. They're going to they're close going to local local farmers down? Yes, sir. How about, how about the suppliers of food for uh, grocery stores and little, little mom-and-pop stores? They don't care about us, sir. 
They don't they put got one there. agenda in there to, to achieve it. So, so they're going to shut down the, dairy, the the farmers, but they're not going to bother the food suppliers. Oh, they'll take the, they'll they'll take the the local farm the local farmers. They'll take their supplies and stuff, but it'll be for them. But I mean, though, as far as though the grocery stores and other little stores that may support the resistance, would they also attack them and take them down? Uh, now that I'm I'm not sure of. That I haven't heard anything any discussion on that, sir. I mean, there must be some uh, some huge uh, preparation going on behind our backs because this is a logistical um, nightmare for them to be able to do all this. It, it's been this has been in the planning since the mid '80s, sir. That is a fact. That I, that I do know. That yes, I do sir. Know, yes, uh, I can say that uh, specifically because I was involved uh, in the early '80s up until the beginning of Operation Desert Shield with a special operations group at a military base that started training law enforcement officers. It was always denied, but it went on on the base all the time. Are you uh, telling your friends that you can tell to repair themselves with materials? And, and well, after the break, ask a question. Plus, we got a boatload of phone calls, okay? 855-242-8824. Again, folks, the lines are busy. Keep calling. You'll get through. But keep your questions or comments down to one, please. Give everybody a chance to get on. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. Hello, folks. Listen up. We have some great news for all of you. Are you looking for educational videos you can share with your friends and family 24 hours a day? If so, visit PastorButch.tv right now. There you will find hundreds of hours of Pastor Butch's teachings, all of his seminars, and much, much more available, all for you to enjoy and learn from right at PastorButch.tv. Now, for only 15 cents a day, you can access this powerful resource. That's just $5.95 a month or $59.95 a year. Payable by PayPal, write on PastorButch.tv, or by check, cash, or money order by writing to Call to Decision Ministries, 224 Heard Road, Nettie, West Virginia, 26681. Now go there, sign up at PastorButch.tv. The website again is PastorButch.tv. If you have any questions, be sure to call 1-800-777-4403. That's 1-800-777-4403. Support Butch and Call to Decision Ministries and sign up today. You've come to expect winter specials from Herbal Healer Academy, and we're not going to let you down. Battle through cold and flu season with powerful natural and safe flu fighters, antivirals like olive leaf extract capsules and elderberry power, vitamin D3, 180 caps, only $9, beta-glucans and an incredible immune system booster, our own four-herb tea capsules, and Respa 8, all specially priced during the winter sale at HerbalHealer.com. Also, exclusive homeopathic detoxes for lungs, kidneys, liver, whole body, and lymph are on sale. Herbal Healer Academy offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Log on and save big now when you hit the winter specials at HerbalHealer.com. Healing the world with nature, one person at a time since 1988. Celebrating 25 years in service to the natural health care industry. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pillar, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com.
folks, we are back. And before I say, I do have a prayer request tonight for a, 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 a premature young boy, Nolan, born today, three pounds old. Please keep him in your prayers that our Father will give him a, a healthy life and help the family through this little crisis, okay? If, if, you had a, if you had children, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, Nolan's a little fellow's prayer. Keep me, uh, name, keep me in your prayers, please. Uh, brothers, about to ask you right before the break. And by the way, folks, you got there tonight, and, and I'm going to say this to you before I forget, if you don't mind, Lieutenant. I, I attended a, a, a militia meeting several years ago in uh, Kentucky, Knob Creek, Kentucky. Went down there, there were 600 people there, Lieutenant, with guns and uh, walking around in a camo, really macho type, going gun ho type guys and women. I went into the tent to preach that day, as I was, I was asked to. Maybe there were 12, 15 people there. I knew right then that the militia was a joke. If they're exactly, not looking, sir. if they're not looking for the direction of the Almighty God, forget it. And, it, and when, when the head of the militia was arrested, Charlie Puckett, who passed away a couple of years ago, was arrested. Only myself and one other man contacted his wife to help her. Now I'm not bragging on me. The point of it is, we got a bunch of macho wimps out there. And I'm telling, and I'm this why it really has become a little bit frightened, Lieutenant, that these macho morons will go out and pick a fight because they won't act macho. They they're not they don't have any kind of guidance except their own manlyhood and a bunch of wimps. They want to want to want to egg on a fight. A true believer, a, a, a strong man, never picks a fight. He defends himself. That's correct, sir. So. On individual levels, uh, when you talk to your family or friends, do you are you telling them to prepare for something? Yes, sir, I do. Uh, my main words are, if you could speak to my friends, they'd say that I always say, trust in the Lord and prepare to defend yourselves. You tell them to buy food and water filters? Yes, sir. Thing also? Yes, sir. From A to Z. So you're and expecting... I, I, well, Go ahead. If, if I can interject one thing, and, sure. and Alex Jones really does not know how correct he is about the training from that field manual he refers to, because mm-hmm. that's where it's all coming from. Well, uh, that, that's been around for quite a while now, and exposed for uh, Alex exposed this program years ago, and I know it did on, yes, on board also. This has been around for quite a while. That uh, didn't change their mindset. <laughs> do I now? That did not change their mindset because it was revealed. Well, you know, this was kind of a, uh, it's, all, it's everybody's hopes, including mine and Alex, everybody else. Perhaps if we would learn enough people, they'll back off a little while. But it'll only be a I little think, while. I, I, I think you're right, and that's what I'm hoping and praying for. You said, but you think, in your, in your opinion, three months, something could happen, and no later than six months. Is that your honest opinion? Yes, sir, it is. And what kind of signs are you seeing now uh, coming about around you that you've been that you that you were told are going to happen? What are you seeing in the way of signs that indicating that this is going to happen? The training and the the info training. Uh, they have com- uh, online computer training, and it, not a, not all authors get get it. Just the chosen or the one of the roid heads, so to speak. And info training mean what? Uh, the, on the computer, you just go on and sign in, and you take a take a class, and it explains the situation and, and what the objective is. Are you seeing any signs coming down from the government, uh, for perhaps the so-called fiscal cliff and all this hope, phony baloney that you're doing with this? Do you see this as being a sign indication? Is there something drawn near also? In, in my opinion, yes, sir, from uh, research and uh, everything that I've done, yes, sir, that's all part of the plan. In your, from your higher ups, and you've heard this, of course, from from uh, people with a, with a higher pay scale than you, right? Oh, exactly, <laughs> way higher than mine. And uh, are the ones in the hierarchy all for this? Or are they doing it now because it's your job? They plan on doing what you're doing when they vacate, or what do you see them doing? It's it's, it's their job, and they they gonna stick with it. They want to stay on top, no matter what. Yes, sir. Does it go as high as the governor? Uh, I'd rather not say, sir. Okay, you did mention the governor is one of one of uh, Obama's picks, though, right? Uh, yes, sir, that is correct. And he's picked to uh, be on, on one of the regional governors when this nation was into a regional system. Is that true? That is exactly correct. So we, we know, folks, we, we've been divided in 10 regions since 1970s uh, at least. Uh, on our website, you'll find the regions. I'm in Region 3 in West Virginia. 
the world's been divided in ten regions. Actually, yes, folks, sir. that's true. And there'll be ten kings who cast their, their crowns to feed the Antichrist. They'll be the heads of those regions. It's all biblically falling between before us right now. Yes, sir. Before I go to phone lines. What I'm saying here is, is going by the book, and I'm referring to the Holy Bible. Amen. Amen. If you were talking. We can pray. We can put new people in office, and we can do everything in, within our uh, power. power. Yeah. But we can't change anything the Lord has designated to happen. Well, I just finished the teaching. I mean, we can try and we can hope and pray that we can put it off. For God's sakes, people have to wake up. We're talking Amen. about our children, our grandchildren. I mean, and it's more its more than weapons. It's about our freedom. Amen. And, and when the guns are gone, don't think for a minute. You won't be able to worship our Lord, the God. No. The creator of heaven and earth. He'll be out. And there's no place at all. In the Muslim faith for democracy. They, they don't even know what the word is. They have no idea what, what freedom is. I don't think they have a word for it. No, but sir, they don't. They don't. And it's not just a Muslim. It's, it's, it's Illuminati. It's a world powers, period. But, yes, sir. But, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to explain this as clearly as I should, maybe, but they disarmed us spiritually a long time ago. The churches in this nation are useless. You know that. Yes, as sir. A, as, a whole, as a whole, they're useless. So taking the, taking the weapons is the last thing. And, and let's just tell it like it is, Lieutenant. Most so-called Christians, and most people, period, but most Christians will not have enough backbone to stand, will they? No, sir, they won't. But the ones that do stand are going to be the main targets. Yes. After, of course, after the, uh, the watchmen are taken out. And I consider you and Alex a watchman. And uh, they, they won't to take on the God-fearing Christian Americans. Because once they figure they beat us into submission, then the rest will fall to the side. Well, they're, they're doing it in courts now with businesses that don't want to support homosexuality, and they're being sued by the by the sodomite perverts and winning the cases in court. They're taking this under right now. Uh, the hate crimes bill has been signed, and I'm a hate time, I guess I'm a hate crimes preacher because I preach against sin, period. <laughs> so, I know it's not funny, but... It, it, but it's really something you said. My grandchildren, I have three grown sons and six beautiful grandbabies, just like the papa, ha ha, but they're beautiful children. And they know I papa, well, brother, they, they know papa's a wuss. But yeah. I'm, <laughs> I, I, and I'm going to say this, I say this I love, please, I, I say this sincerely. Don't don't pick on me, leave me alone. I don't want to fight. You don't want to fight. No real man wants to fight. But we have to, if you make it, so we have to do this. We're tell, I'm talking to the other side. Let's listen to this program, yes, man. Sir. I know you do. I'm talking to them. Please don't force me to fight. You, you may take me out the first shot. I may not get a fire shot, but I am not going with you voluntarily. Please understand that. Don't bother me. All I want to do is be able to tell the, tell the truth, see people come to Christ, and stand for what's left of righteousness. If you're a cop or you're federal, I don't care who you are. I'm saying this out totally out of love. Don't force me as a pastor, as a Christian, to defend myself and my family. But I will. I don't want to. But I will. And also, if my brother, Lieutenant here, needs help, if I can get to his home, I'll be glad to help him also. This is not, I'm not ashamed of that. If we don't stand together, we're going to be in a huge trouble. We already are. I don't think we're in the war anyway. But if we don't stand together, we'll be going down much faster, won't we? Yes, sir, we will. What do you want to say before we go to the phone lines? Well, uh, I just have to reiterate the fact that, you know, trust in the Lord and prepare to defend everything that's righteous and holy to you. And does this affect you emotionally sometimes? Do you feel like crying sometimes? I, I do, sir. I do cry. Because I see everything that, that I mean, there, if you, Europe is full of white granite gravestones. Yes. These folks didn't want to die, but they died for our country, for our beliefs, our freedom, our family, and for the Father. And that's yeah. just the way I feel about it. And how can anybody ever, even if you see it on TV and not in person, all of those gravestones, I mean, that was a living, breathing body 
and a soul yes, given sir. to us by the Lord. And so are the 16 million unborn babies. Yes, sir. And that, that I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, sir. You know, this if we can't cry and weep over them, if we don't have enough men in this country to defend unborn life, then we certainly don't have enough, enough, have enough men to defend freedom, and we don't deserve it. It's just that simple. Let's go yes, to the phone line. Just start with a new caller, Catherine in Virginia. Catherine, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me, and I have a quick comment and a quick question. I'll try to be as quick with my comment as I can because it's an opportunity to share intel that I was made aware of when I ran for delegate in my state uh, when after Obama became president, and that is this information, which um, m- may mean something to some of your listeners or a, a lot of your listeners. Um, uh, I'm a, a citizen of the Commonwealth of Virginia, and when I ran for delegate, I came across information that DynCor, as, as I'm sure you all know, major... Um, um, I, I don't even know what you call them. Uh, they're con- contractors, uh, defense contractors, but they they don't swear any oath to the Constitution. They just they just work for whoever pays them. Mm-hmm. Mercenaries, yes. And they're mercenaries, indeed, yes, sir. And right after Obama was uh, in, installed in office, um, he gave DynCorp a billion dollar contract, uh, which DynCorp sub contracted out to um, Blackwater, um, O'Gara, and other mercenary groups. Mm -hmm. And these groups set up a a, a part of their contractual agreement was that they would set up so-called training camps or schools within a two-hour radius of D.C. And so that billion-dollar contract was to set up a perimeter around D.C., uh, of mercenaries to protect to protect the city. Okay, good yes, info. And I, I, so I just wanted to throw that out there for whosoever wanted to know. And okay. um, if you ever, I don't want to take up this uh, gentleman's precious time. Okay, well, well, what's your I, question? I just thank you, uh, sir, both of y'all, for risking your lives to to inform the rest of us and keep us up to speed with what's going on. Um, at any rate, um, my governor um, of the Commonwealth is the chair of the Council of Governors. And when I ran for uh-huh. office um, and speaking uh, up for the Constitution and as an unashamed Christian, uh, he personally came out and uh, denounced my candidacy, which was so silly because I'm, I'm just a nobody, but I am a believer, and I Amen. was speaking the truth boldly. But since then, and this goes back to what the lieutenant referred to earlier when I uh, okay, heard Catherine, your initial, we, have, we have to hurry, sweetheart. Go ahead. Got to hurry. Your initial uh, interview with him and talking about training with drones, um, my husband and I had uh, have eyewitnessed uh, on one occasion as many as four drones fly over our home. And um, I... I'm just asking you, uh, Lieutenant, to the best of your ability, how would you, how would you instruct or or encourage those of us um, under with targeted and under siege? How, how, what what can you recommend we do to prepare okay. to the That's best a good of our question. ability? Please call, Catherine. Appreciate. What, very quickly, uh, Lieutenant, what would you get? What would you tell her? I, I would say just yeah, uh, trust in the Lord is the main thing because without him, we're nothing, and we have no chance whatsoever. Right. Okay. And just try to keep a low profile as much as possible. Okay, now now you tell me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let's go to Kelly, North Carolina. Kelly, we got to hustle. I'm sorry. we got to do this. What's on your mind, Kelly? I think we're a little late in the game to keep a low profile now. You're right. Out you're right. Um, first of all, I want to uh, commend the lieutenant. And, yes. Uh, we're in the same state. Not for sure where you're at, but uh, I got you six. <laughs> okay. Um, I appreciate that, brother. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Uh, Pastor, um, didn't it, uh, isn't it in the Bible where uh, God commanded his folks to beat their swords into plowshares? He said that yeah, there was a time when the, the, the swords were beat into, into pruning shear, but yes, the, 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 yes, he told us to prepare for battle. All, in, in Numbers chapter 1 is where you get the idea of the militia. It's in Numbers chapter 1. Read it for yourself, okay? And Good there call. was a time where they had to 
reverse the process. Absolutely. The time we, that, that's coming. It hasn't come yet. Well, I didn't get that memo. <laughs> that's okay. all I want to say Good about call. That. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cody, Wisconsin. The uh, okay. that I told you, uh, you call person about uh, okay. two National Guard uh, armories, the 210 and the 211, Hayward, Hayward County, North Carolina, and I believe it was Macon County, North Carolina, was okay. put on alert today, said that uh, – this is I've only found it on the newscast, local newscast here. I haven't found it on the internet yet, but said that uh, their family's not to worry that it didn't mean that they were called up. They just wanted to acclimate them to what it would feel like if they were called up. Uh huh. Okay, another training exercise. Thank you, Kelly. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the gun show in Asheville is in question because we have a um, uh, what do you call him a councilman that thinks it's a good idea to cancel them because of Sandy Hook. Uh oh, I hear that. Well, good call. God jump. Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate that. Uh huh. Cody, Wisconsin. Come on in, sir. Brothers, thanks for having the great courage, uh, Lieutenant, to come on the air here and speak boldly. And uh, I, I want, just want to make a comment, that, all, a secondary comment, that that with disarmament comes genocide. Yes. Folks. yes. Never surrender. Never surrender. Amen. And, Cody, you know, we've already committed 60 men uh, acts of genocide. We didn't defend them. Why should we be defended, right? That's right. Last night, uh, I'll say it quickly. With my nine-year-old daughter, we watched uh, YouTube clips of since 1915, around the early 1900s, where genocide went from country to country after yes. disarmament. Yes. And she came in bed with me and my wife last night crying. I said to her, I said, Autumn, would it have been better if you didn't watch that last night or tonight? She said, no, I'm glad I seen that. All right. Good for you, brother. Thanks for standing, standing the ground, partner. Talk to you soon. Love you. Let's Love go, you. Let's go to our brother, Rod in Michigan. Rod, come on in. Prayer, Pastor, but so, much I could, so much I could say, but I want to just take a brief prayer here, brother. Okay. Heavenly Father, I uh, thank you for Lieutenant McCoy and Pastor Butch. Um, I think for Pastor Butch and people like Greg Evenson and a handful of those that stand and put the word, the almighty word of you, to expose all the murdered babies in our country to stand up. If we have any weak, specified men that are standing there, hide behind the sheets because they're afraid to speak up, such as these people, I ask that you get them out of the way. Rod, Rod, Rod we're, we're going to break, Rod. Hang on to the break. Hate to interrupt prayer, we're going to the break. Look, bear the break. Final segment, final phone call, 855 242 8824. Don't forget, it'll be an officer awesome 9 to 4 tomorrow. Satan's army roams the land, seeking souls of fallen men. Reality check. What is most important in your life? Family, friends, career, retirement? What is your biggest fear? It is loss. Loss of family, loss of friends, and financial loss, or an economy collapse. But the true fact is, most people fear loss of life. And yet, millions of Americans abuse their body with toxic food and beverages every day. And they wonder why they take a ride to the hospital in an ambulance. It doesn't have to be that way. Introducing Life Change Tea, the small package with a mighty punch. This highly concentrated natural formula removes toxins and chemicals that collect in your digestive tract. It tastes good, and all you have to do is drink. It's that easy. Store this number in your cell phone, 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or order online at getthetea.com. Get the tea.com. Pastor Butch has tried and fully endorses the tea. Can heart and body extract help with other ailments besides heart conditions, high blood pressure, clogged arteries, or unbalanced cholesterol? It did for Karen. I've been using heart and body extract for approximately two weeks. I've had an earwax buildup problem for many years with over the counter stuff not working at all. I have very poor hearing due to this earwax buildup. Well, after two weeks of taking heart and body extract, my earwax buildup almost completely cleared up. Could this be the effect of better body circulation? Heart and body extract is an effective 100% organic nutritional supplement specially formulated to allow your body to heal itself. My hearing is almost completely back to normal. <laughs> I'm amazed. Order by calling 866-295-5305 or online at hbextract.com. That's 866-295-5305 or hbextract.com. Heart and Body Extract for a long and healthy life. What do you do when your propane runs out and you don't have a large amount of wood for cooking? That's when you need a Grover Rocket Stove from StockStorage.com. 
The Grover Rocket Stove starts easily with any combustible material, like junk mail, small twigs, leaves, weeds, or dry sagebrush. Then just add a small amount of kindling wood, and you'll be cooking entire meals in minutes. Grover Rocket Stoves are made right here in the USA and are built to last a lifetime using heavy-duty thick-gauge steel and are painted with high-temp paint to withstand heat. Go to StockStorage.com and see three great Grover Rocket Stoves, stainless steel, heavy-duty, or our original Grover Rocket Stove for only $135 and get free shipping to the lower 48. For phone orders, call 801-361-6984 or go to StockStorage.com. That's 801-361-6984 or StockStorage.com. The original Grover Rocket Stove Minimal Wood Use Cooking Stoves, available exclusively from StockStorage.com. Let me go. Rob Fisher Press Survey. Quickly, go ahead. Heavenly Father, I continue the prayer, and I ask that uh, you you arise and raise men up in this country, men of valor, men to take a stand for you, for your word. I thank you for Pastor Butch's uh, radio show, one of the very few in this country who preached truth with righteousness. I'm so grateful to have him as a friend and a brother. I thank you again for Lieutenant. And uh, there's so much to pray for, Lord, but help us to remember your son who died for us, and that's what we stand yes, for. Yes. Butch, I love you dearly, and let's keep uh, Lisa Shaw's uh, father in prayer. He's not Amen. doing well, folks. We love you all. Good, good call. Thank you, Rod. Thanks. Very quick, before, before we get next phone call, uh, Lieutenant, can you confirm FEMA camps? Uh, yes, sir. And they definitely uh, exist. And, and are, have you had you have first-hand knowledge of that? First-hand knowledge, sir. Okay. And what other parts of the government officials will be involved uh, other than DHS and, and uh, the federal marshals and ATF? Would it be like DEA and ICE and other places to be involved in this also? All federal uh, enforcement agencies. Even the IRS, probably. <laughs> I wonder why they carry guns. All right, Mark in Oregon, come on in. We've got about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Go ahead. Yes, I'm sorry, uh, Pastor Butch, and can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go ahead. Yes, God bless you and uh, Lieutenant McCoy. I wanted to ask you, Lieutenant McCoy, um, through your research and exposure to this uh, system of evil here, the structure of evil, what have you seen or what have you extrapolated in the area of silent weapons for quiet wars? Uh, such as the laser beam, okay. uh, such as the electromagnetic pulse okay. weapons, which uh, uh, are highly, question, di- highly disabled. Uh, as far as antibacterial warfare, if you can comment, please. Very quickly, if you don't mind, Lieutenant. Uh, well, let me say, the world was surprised uh, when we attacked Baghdad. Right. But they have not shown their whole hand. Okay. All right. Thanks. God that bless you, gentlemen. Good Thank call. You so that means that we're up for a surprise. Randy in Georgia. Come on in, Randy. Got about 30 seconds. Come on in. You know, there's just as many unconstitutional laws at the state level. I don't know what department or agency the lieutenant works for, but he needs to be mindful of Ecclesiastes 5-5 and keeping his oath and not enforcing unconstitutional state laws. He's worried about the federal government. Okay. Sir, I can put you at rest. If it's unconstitutional, it's not enforced by me. Okay. Good call. Good call. Good good comment. Thank you. Appreciate that, Randy. Uh, Frank in North Carolina. Welcome, Frank. Yes, uh, Lieutenant McCoy, I I definitely uh, respect what you're doing, and thank you. Um, You you keep referring to the governor. Are you talking about the uh, governor that gets signed in tomorrow, Pat McCrory in North Carolina? Uh, Negative. No, sir. Okay. You're talking about, talking about the one that's going out tomorrow. Okay. How about the new one? How about him? Uh, I think he's a fine man. Okay. All right. All right. That's good to know. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Good call, Frank. Yes, sir. Uh, Rick in Minnesota, you got about 20 seconds. I p- pass much? Yes, sir. Okay. The farmers you are talking about are the raw milk dairy farmers, which also sell chickens, eggs, and beef. You're exactly right. You hit the nail on the head, sir. Absolutely. The the grocery stores are all incorporated. They'll do what they're, they're told. Okay. Good point. Good call. Oh, Thank what, you. Hey, yes, one, yes, more, one more. Okay. Okay, oh. Lieutenant, you painted yes, a sir. bullseye. You painted a bullseye on you. <laughs> I'm afraid I have, sir. Yeah, I'm sure he do did. Not, okay. Do not, say, do not say you're withholding. Evidence okay. Okay. Yeah. without a way to get that out. Okay, well, we got we got to go. Next caller line. Who is it from, from from Virginia? Who is it again? Mick. 
Mick Wilkins, got about, about 15 seconds. I'm sorry, I ran out of time. Go ahead, I'm Mick. Mick you oh, okay, that. gotcha. Okay, hurry, Mick. Okay, I'm going to hit a very short part. Okay, hey, and Gio's been keep. Amen. Okay, good call. Sorry, out of time. Lieutenant, thank you so much. I'm sure I'll be in touch with you sometime in the near future. If you hear anything, please feel free to call me, all right? Okay, sir. Can, can you hang on uh, uh, just for a second after go off the air, please? Yes, sir. I sure okay. Can. Folks, we love you. We'll see you in the office tomorrow between 8 to 4. You heard it as clear as we can put it tonight. If you're not ready by now, you better hustle. See you tomorrow. Good night. Taking souls of